For most virtual reality games and experiences, seeing your hands is an essential part of the immersion. Today, I'll show you how to use Unity's XR Interaction Toolkit to see your hands and fingers move via your controller in virtual reality. First thing to do is actually set up the Unity XR Interaction Toolkit. If you haven't seen my Get Started with VR and Unity video, check it out for an overview of the setup process. Long story short, first we need to install the XR Interaction Toolkit from the Package Manager. If you don't see it, you'll need to enable Preview Packages in the Project Settings, Package Manager, Enable Preview Packages. Then the Package Manager should have the Unity XR Interaction Toolkit. Then you need to enable your device in Project Settings, XR Plugin Management, and then you could choose the device that you want. I'm using an Oculus device, so I'll enable Oculus. You should be able to right click the hierarchy and select XR. Choose a room scale XR rig if you want your player to move around. Or you can choose a stationary XR rig if you want to do seated play. If you have your own hand models, you can use those. I did not, so I found this asset that Oculus provides for developers. Good news is that it's free. The bad news is that it's in Maya format, so I converted those to FVX format so I could bring them into Unity. I attached a link to those models below. Next, you want to create an empty game object called left hand. Bring the hand FVX into Unity, then drag the left hand mesh below the new game object as a child. Make the left hand game object a prefab. Then make left hand prefab go to the model prefab slot, left hand controller, below the XR controller script. And no, I did not forget the right hand. We're going to finish setting up the left hand, then just clone it for the right hand. You can just delete the left hand from the hierarchy. When we press play, our left hand keeps clipping. So I'm going to decrease the near clipping plane on the main camera to 0.1. That should fix that. Also, your left hand might be rotated wrong like my left hand. Let's fix that by rotating the spawn hand game object in play mode a few levels below the left hand controller to match the position your hand is rotated by in real life. When you get that set, just copy the transform with the dot 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 and then you want to go to the left hand prefab and paste these values by clicking the dot 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 here again and then paste component values. Now just leave the prefab mode, press play again, and keep adjusting until the hand is lined up with your hand. Now let's animate. I'm currently using the Oculus Quest 2 so I don't have full finger tracking. So we're going to use three different poses. Pose 1 is the thumb curling in. Pose 2 is the index finger curling in. Pose 3 is your other three fingers curling in all at the same time. Let's make a folder called models and put the hand model within there so it doesn't confuse us anymore. Let's add an animator to the left hand. Let's create a folder called animations. Inside this folder, create an animation controller named hand. Set the controller on the left hand to the newly created hand animator. Go to the menu window and open up an animation window. Open up your left hand prefab. With the hand prefab selected, we can click create to create a new animation clip called index. We want to animate the rotation of the index finger bones. As we can see, there are usually three bones per finger on a hand model. Just mess around with it to see how many your bones has. You'll want to add the rotational property for each bone within the animation. Then go to the last frame and hit record. Now you rotate all the bones to where the finger would be if it was in a fist.
Now stop the recording, play the animation, and we can see it curl. Do the same thing for the thumb by creating an animation clip called Thumb. Then rotate those bones as well to the fist position while you're on the last keyframe and while you're on record. Make sure you don't forget those two things. When you're done, you stop recording and try to play it. This one works well for the thumb too. So since I'm using the Oculus, we're going to rotate the last three fingers with just the grip button. This will all be one animation. Call the animation three fingers. Then add the rotation for all of these fingers into the same animation. Rotate them all into a fist when you're on the last keyframe while you are recording. Do not forget. Now play the animation and we can see all three fingers curl. Okay, now go to the animator and let's create a blend tree by right clicking, then go to create state and clicking from new blend tree. Double click into the blend tree. Go to parameters and add a float by clicking the plus sign, then float. Call this float index. Now create two more floats. One call thumb and one call three fingers. Click the blend tree and set the blend tree type to direct. Add three new motion fields by clicking the plus sign here, then clicking add new motion field. Set each of the parameters to the parameters you created. Index, thumb, three fingers. Now drag the animations to the motion slots of their respective parameter. Index, thumb, three fingers. If you don't see a model within the player, you can just go to the assets and drag the hand model that you had to the blend tree player. Now press play. When you move the values here, you'll see the blended hand fingers curling to the respective amount you set. 0% causes zero curl. 50% is half curled. 100% fully curled. So you can mess around with these values to see what I'm talking about. This video is getting kind of long for my taste, so we're going to continue making your VR hand controllers in part two of this video. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching.